Welcome back, everybody. It's Spirit Plays More Spiral Nights. Now, before we begin, if you could please, obviously, click the like button, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be quite honest with you. I'm getting sick of not having radiance, S straight up. So I'm gonna, we're gonna do your dreams nightmare speed run. It's, it's not often I close the party, but I want to see how fast I can get them. I at least want to try to pump one level into the Acheron, out of all things. Now, if we get, I think we need 60 for the mid range. So I think if I get 30 on this run, then that's asking a lot. Then we're going to see if we can, uh, you know, level up the Akron. Uh, and maybe we'll have time for something else. I don't know. Depends how how uh, lucky we are when it comes to level generation. Let's see. We got a regular chaos uh, gun loadout. We got the Griffin, the Magma, and the Winter Grave. Uh, what was the Swift Trick and the Swift Step? with one extra art trinket. So we have one extra shot, uh, sorry, um, what do we call it? One extra ability to soak a bullet. Not too intense, obviously. We, if we encounter some of the rougher areas in the nightmares, then we'll have, we'll have a tough time, but I think we'll be okay. The griffin I, I really enjoy using, just to first off kill the wolvers, but secondly, um, it, it really helps carve out the level. Also, if you could just stop talking, Bland, every time. Every time we get to that last level, you're just like, oh, hey, you do a fine job every time, my man. I just notice this does not stick dead center. It goes in the side of my one of four nose holes. Two's not enough, I guess. Evolution just eventually popped up to the four category. Okay, I guess we have to go this way for the key. Keys are not always necessary, but this is a very funky funky kind of area to have a key in. Usually you come at it from the other way. Anyway, dude, today is the day we leave for camping. We're gonna go to Pincho. So my backlog is not quite where I want it to be. But it's still there. Oh my gosh, easiest puzzle of my life. Oh, yeah, there's the exit. We can see it. It's bad we don't have the option just to like jump off into, into the ether and hopefully grab onto the uh, the elevator and just go down there. The baby duck has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Think of, think of how much longer that would have taken if I didn't have my pea shooter. It enables us. I'm also glad I don't have to carry the key through this area. Well done. Excuse me. Oh no! Speaking of well done. Hello? Hello? We can't shoot through that? Come on, man. Okay, well, this is just annoying. <laughs> I can't get through there. Oh my gosh, use your shield bash. You don't have it. We're stuck. We have, we have survived somehow. Apparently, this area, this, this thing right here is just impervious to everything. That's our own fault. I just uh, assume we can shoot over it. You know what assuming does. Alright, we are, we are going to have to engage in maybe a little bit of combat here. Oh, maybe not. Sorry. Again, assumed. Assumed there was a, a button over there we had to press. That was not a bad first floor. I think we get healed to full for the next one. I'm also... <laughs> dude, I am... Uh, I'm feeling the mercy so far. We obviously should have died at that one spot, but we did not. It's not often I just focus on, on uh, spiral tactics. You know we're in a tough spot when I actually start talking about mechanics of the game. <laughs> Instead of bringing out the, uh, the Gigantor... Sudoruska. I think one of the best like off runs I ever had dreams nightmares was just using the Valance Nitronome. Like that bomb is surprisingly amazing at the last arena. So if you guys are sitting there with the default gear, you're for, like sort of starting. Um, don't don't discount that gun. It's pretty amazing. Gun bomb. It, it's like a gun that doesn't move. Everything's a gun. <laughs> it's like to a five year old. Everything's a gun to a five year old. We're just going backwards through the stage. We just progress through what's going on here pardon me I forgot the um I only remember we have shield bash when we're in the, like the tightest spot really wanted to shoot you there we go I feel better about myself it's not something we use usually with with decent positional placement you'd assume you don't have to use that kind of stuff okay we have another place for a key Please. 
If we can make it to what are we at? Five minutes? Seven minutes? I think we can do we can time how long it takes us to do the last arena. The second we step on the button. I don't know if there's any world records for that, but I mean what kind of achievement are we really trying to get? Vanaduke is where I've, I've seen people do it under 10 minutes. Their illusion. And a couple guys in my guild. It's, it's ridiculous. I can do it in 40. <laughs> but then, yeah, it, it's whatever you practice toward, right? Usually your skill sets develop that kind of that kind of way. I'm trying to... Well, maybe not. I try to develop my skill set in uh, surviving in Catacomb Kids. That doesn't seem to work. This, this is actually the, the best... The fastest run we've had in a while when it comes to dreams and nightmares. Now we'll see how well we do in the the actual arena itself. I'm hoping okay. Well, a few lucky, uh, unlucky spike shots, and we're, we're just in dire trouble. But anyway, I'm, all I'm gonna say is I'm psyched to go camping. Got some air conditioners set up here. I mowed my lawn yesterday or the day before. I forget the days kind of run together. I had this weird dream last night that I was uh, watching Adventure Time with one of my friends who actually wanted to stop being my friend. Actually, he did stop being my friend because of a uh, um, difference in religious beliefs, which is, I don't know. I, I value people that actually have a differing opinion. So I told him I value him and I want to tell you. And it was over Facebook, right? It's not, it's, it's, it's hardly ever something of that magnitude. It's hardly ever like you know what? We're in person talking about this. Let's get heated, and I don't like you anymore. It's it's it was over Facebook, extremely extremely anonymous, and I'm like, Can you, it's happened twice to me so far. I'm like, why don't we just talk about this stuff, man? And they never respond. They're just like, I'd rather just be mad by myself, know that I'm right, without any differing view. So then you're wondering what they're really trying to pitch. Do they want to, you know, does their judgment want to exist in their own mind, or do they want to search out truth? Oh. So I mean, one long lucky spike, we're in trouble. We just gotta. First off, we've basically taken a giant eraser to this board. And we're good. And then, well, see what I mean? Just, we just slowly waited for that one. Get him, Mike. Give me some damage bonus. Okay. We did get some. Beautiful. And I probably would do a lot faster if I used to graviton here. Uh, I I just you know, this is this this is like the combination of survivability plus fun. I like shooting things. That's the whole reason we play this game is to shoot things. You guys ever see uh? Oh my gosh, Time Bandits. The 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 rendition of Napoleon they had in there was pretty awesome. He's he fell in love with these midgets because you know Napoleon's supposed to be notoriously mm -hmm. short. And it, 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 when they, they, they travel through time to support the, besides like telling the old premise of the movie, the, they're, they're trying to run away from God because they, they stole a map with, with, um, like errors in the time space kind time continuum. They can hop through these errors and go through time, but they're all like, they're all especially like creationist angels, but they're all midgets. They're all real tiny people. And so they, they get, get upon Napoleon watching this play while I think Paris is being destroyed. And they, they start singing the song, My Shadow. Me and my shadow Walking down the avenue Avenue, avenue And he, uh... And they're all friends, all these angels. And they're all tiny people. And they start, like, one trips over the other. One forgets the song. One's, like, doing things backwards. They start hitting each other and beating each other up, bloody noses, but eventually sort of finish the song. And Napoleon comes backstage. And, uh... <laughs> you, hear, you hear him screaming, This is why, what I want to see. Little things hitting each other. And you're like, what? Anyway. I don't know how that, that got on that story. But anyway, anyway, here we are. We're doing a great job. Killing, uh, killing gremlins left and right. Oh, there's still one left. There we go. He gets it. There we are. Beautiful. Now we use Mike's secret special ability, which we only bring out in rare circumstances. As in, you know, whenever we, we, we remember to, honestly. Up this. Sometimes I just straight up forget he's there. Except to use the number one function, which is like, I think, slightly less 
powerful and then a magma blast, but it has more of a chance to proc fire. I think I think that's how that works. I don't even I don't even know if there's a exact percentage on that thing. Thirty runs and not a single black cat. I, I, I Mr. Rainbow, I feel your pain. Been there. I think I tried farming like the first or second. I think the second year I tried farming. After that, I just I couldn't. It's just too much. There's other things to do, other places in this world we can enjoy. Just it just wasn't for me. It's anime bay. They're back. I know that's not your name. It's Amy, Am Amini. Perhaps French. Don't know. Okay, you're dead. You're dead. Just. P shoot the rest of you. It's one of the reasons I brought this gun. Dude, they can't. Do they can't dodge all the shots. Maybe they can. They like. I'm. I'm really glad they took away the teleportation powers of them in this level. That would be quite annoying. You think the black squares are enough to to give you a pain? You're still here. I'm also very surprised I never realized how uh, oop, how beautiful this game looks with graphics at least on medium. Like it's 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 not that much of a uh, not that much of a difference when it comes to you know frame rate in my style. All that because we stream on Twitch now, and uh, I think Pi watches my catacomb vids once in a while. So he's like, "Wow, this game's really pretty." I'm like, yeah, man. Brings out the beauty. A good spirited context is spirit recording. <sighs> oh no! Oh, thank goodness. What? Well, okay, now he's fire. Give me a minute. If I was recording, what would you say? Is there a language filter? <laughs> <Look at that. laughs> like, what kind of what goes after that question? What kind of top secret information could we possibly have in the, uh, the late pack guild? Oh no! Great, we just okay. The second one I just completely ignored. I'm like, yeah, we're going this way anyway. I'm guessing when I'm older, I might have the same kind of like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Might have the same kind of thought process. Is it really worth bending down and picking up that two hundred dollar bill, or are we content where we are? It's a, it's a question we gotta ask ourselves. Boom. We got no damage bonus from that, that mess. Easy. Okay, you got me. I have no more shield. Yeah, at least there was some fire in here, man. There we go. Dreams and nightmares, even if I had the ability to talk, rage quit. <laughs> if I had the ability to talk, it's very tough to just say anything. So, I mean, you could be patient. So I tell my daughter a lot, but I got to spend more time with her. If a kid's getting fussy and is not listening to you, like straight up rejecting every kind of a, or a, a person, rather. If a person is skeptical, not even a kid. You can transfer basically every every type of uh, dealing with parents to either management or just basically re relational functions. Um, if, a, if somebody, anybody, is not taking your advice seriously and you want them to, odds are it's, it's not you or truth that it's, is at fault. This is just my opinion. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly sure just by, you know, gathering information and reading lots of books and all that. So, again, take it for what it is for a person who's self-educated. Basically, uh, it means you need to increase relationship. And how do you spell relationship? Besides the, obviously, phonetically English way to spell it. T-I-M-E. Time. Spend time with that person. Not just, re like, regular time, but, like, spend legit time with that person. Like, like, quality time. Experiencing the same thing together so they get a feel for who you are. People are more than just logical computers. All right, we value time with others of likeness, like people. Now, some people might rub you the wrong way. That's a different kind of thing altogether. But when it comes to, you know, trust and relationship and communication, the best thing you can do is just spend time with them. Like me and Valan here. Every time we get in, in 
The reason why we don't get along so well is because whenever the stuff goes down, she just get, jumps right outside the cage and is like, you got it. Well, that's not a very fair relationship. I don't, I don't appreciate that. Oh my gosh, it's raining men and radiance. Oh, whoa, am I going to be gifted with a magical 30? Dude, this level looks so much more heavenly with the graphics turned up. <laughs> We've been living in the dark ages for too long. No, actually, uh, I did download some new drivers and stuff. I was hoping it would kind of increase uh, performance, etc. Because you know about us guys, we're all about performance. But I'm according to my junk mail folder anyway, uh, performance is a huge issue for people in my, in my age group. Let's see how well we did. Come on, buddy. Valan, you stay here. You're in timeout. I'll come back for you next time. Boom! So happy. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't fail. But right there, that was like 10 arcade runs worth of radiance if we were just judging by the past two arcade runs we did. So holy crap, man. Oh. One thing we haven't done in a while is dressed up. I'm so used to, uh, I know costumes are a big thing. Cosmetics are, it's good to be pretty. Good to be beautiful. Let's give it a shot. It's just people snoozing on the job. What a great number. Anyway. Come on, Mon. Come on, Mon. Oh my gosh, it actually worked. Okay, okay, okay. What do we got? We got rank. We got prestige. A pinch of salt. Sign me up. Let's add some heat onto this baby. I'm, I'm, I'm in a celebratory mood. You know what? I'm so confident. Competent. We're going to take the Valance. And we're going to take... My Graviton. And we're going to take the Acheron. And we're just going to make this happen. I think we need some sword damage, don't you? Yes, we do. Parties are now open. Oops. Can't leave him hanging. We don't have a legit reason to, <laughs> to say we, we are or are not. Okay, here we go. I'm not going to take all shadow. <laughs> I was thinking about we could use this. Oh, I was about to say something inappropriate. That's okay. That's real life, yo. We're like authentic Spiral Knights journalists. We're, we're in the thick of it. We record life as it really is. Drink some coffee. This is how life is with coffee. Life with coffee is pretty good. Now nah, I can just straight up murder you. I still have my swift strike. We just gotta be whoa purposeful with our shots. That's all. Cha cha. Easy. Let's go for some speed. We're going the distance. We're going for speed. Dude, I was in, um, I went book shopping yesterday. I had an interview for another job. Um, not, I'm not leaving my current job. It was a, it was for a additional job because I don't have enough to do. Dude, why did we bring the Graviton Bomb when we have an hacker on? This thing is ridiculous. But, uh, I, I, the, the lady at my daughter's school, it's private school, you know, they're, they're, they're looking for a gym teacher. It's like two hours a day. I'm not sure what the salary is. I didn't even ask that. We're just seeing if it's a good fit. It's a Christian school, so, you know, technically you don't need, like, they're in charge of who they hire for the most part, so you don't need a degree. Um, so I, I felt highly honored. You're chosen. They raise you up. Because uh, one thing about, I don't know, this world judges things, the world itself. I mean, judges things and people in such a weird way. Because when it comes to morality and theology and thought process, oops, no, no, I messed up my buttons. Um, you can you can teach a lot of things, but what you can't teach is like a good solid moral ground. Usually that kind of comes with the character. I knew you were going to do that. 
I had knowledge. Kind of comes with the character, but um, the skill set you can change. And I, I've I learned this from uh, working in so many warehouses all my life. You can uh, you can change a skill set. People's ability to learn actually uh, kind of you know it's on them, and then everybody the learning ability and the willingness to learn. Uh, I heard somebody say they don't uh, they don't hire people that can do the job. They hire people that want to do the job. There's a distinct difference there. To be can do the job and then having the skill set already pre-made and wanting to learn. So that means you can go beyond just you know having a, a skill set that's that's a that's already developed. Your potential is way higher. You can you can feel it. I'm gonna presume as well pop this, right? So anyway, we were talking about that. So I'm like, well, because if I do it, I gotta strongly rearrange my schedule, and even that's kind of like up in the air. I don't know if that's even possible. Um, so I asked her, I'm like. Are there any other candidates in the running? She's like, well, honestly, there's just one more. But, you know, we talked to him. He didn't mention... It. So take it for what it is, right? In a secular, secular kind of school, they just run the numbers. According to X, Y, and Z, you meet qualification F. Therefore, we must legally hire you. <laughs> and then, that, then the personality comes down to it. But personality and, and everything else are kind of at the forefront when it comes to a uh, school you're trying to customize um, to glorify your, you know, your heavenly father. The person will judge you after death. You, you got to do it with the best intentions in mind. And sometimes, when you're when you're looking at a transcendent perspective, sometimes things happen, and and because there, the evil heart of man is involved in a lot of this process. And you're just kind of like, yeah, I got You got to roll with it. That's when the character, whatever defines you as a person, kind of like kind of helps back you up a bit. Does that make sense anyway? But uh, but being a gym teacher would be kind of nice. And she's like, I'm gonna tell you, it's a. Uh, it's different because you won't be in a gymnasium. You'll be teaching these kids. They'll have to be like sort of separate apart from each other. They're going to have to, you know, not touch each other, be in group settings, social distancing. And I'm like, I'm like, dude, I got I to pray for you because this 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 hurdle that you have to work with on top of just being a principal in the school. Like, what the crap? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm legit praying for these people right now. They need it. Why did we bring this bomb again? All right, well, it's a party over here. It's a party over there. So anyway, that's kind of exciting. I'm looking forward to it. If I could be a gym teacher, I think that'd be kind of fun. I like kids. You can tell by the way I scream my kids out of my room when they make too much noise. That means I love them. <laughs> <laughs> but I told her, I'm like, just letting you know, there's a rule in my class, two rules in my class. First rule is, if anybody talks about raising their hand, Everybody does five push-ups. So that kind of like polices itself. They can only hate me so much. Second rule of the class. If anybody falls down without us doing a balance drill, everybody does five push-ups because kids get crazy. Please. Thank you. Let's use, I mean, we brought the bomb. We should use it. I know we're probably going to eat some damage here, but come on in, buddy. This is for everybody. It's all-inclusive bomb. It's not as much, so I understand the, the benefit of the Winter Grave is just extremely profound compared to this, this madness we got going on now. That was probably the bad time to do that, but it's okay. It worked itself out. I, I forgot you were even a thing. Just so enamored with my Valance actually making an impact. Okay, here we go. Might as well use this. <clears throat> There comes a point, like right now, it's, it's been a while since money was actually even a thing I worried about. So I, I kind of don't even know how to deal with this weight on my shoulders. Or if it, I don't even think it is one. The sec I, I uh, was on my way to a, uh, one of the last karate tournaments I went to. It's in Hershey. And um, I got this thing called the 2012 Pres uh, Shepherds Conference. It was basically a, a, a conference of pastors. And it was, it was all about... The, the concept of money. So you got to talk about, uh, like, Richard Stern, I think his name was, um, where he's, he's like, the only thing I own is, like, the shirt on my back. Because everything else, because he, he's, like, the head of, like, African International Ministries or something like that. Telling, like, I read his book called A Hole in Our Gospel. And it's a, dude, if you want to cry, read that book. I'm telling you about, like, it starts out like he's in a, he's in a home. Now, I might be butchering the story, but I think it's pretty correct. But he's, he's in a home where... There are no parents, 
There's just an older brother who takes care of like two or three kids. It's a mud hut and they all have AIDS. And you're just like, <laughs> I'm gonna cry just reading this. Like it is intense. And this guy, when he sees the rest of the world, if you think I'm not kidding when I say you have no idea how good it is in America, or if you have the ability to listen to this video and, and you don't have a sense of gratitude and thankfulness for where you are, I don't know what to say. All right, I'm almost like choking up talking about it. Like start with a sense of gratitude and teaching that in an affluent society is just really tough. Like how do you teach kids who've only known the best that they don't deserve this? That there is, there are, and the answer is you got to show them. You either show them or you have to live it. One or the other. Anyway, it's, a, it's a very intense life. So what I was going with that is um, the whole conference, which was amazing, talked about uh, there was this other, the Southern Baptist preacher who said, the, the, the words still, still ring with me, the concept anyway. If you have food on your table and clothing on your back, God has provided for your needs. That is all you need. You don't need anything else. You don't need an extra car. You don't need an extra TV. You don't need a connection that doesn't teleport you back and forth every five seconds. You don't need this stuff. Let's just hack at him. There we go. Mike did it. Let's just give Mike some credit. You don't need this stuff. It's just not necessary. Just so much damage. It's my new favorite sword. Why have I not conformed before? I don't know. So, I, like, I didn't even raise the question of money when it, when it came to the interview. I did not, honestly do not care. There's a point in your life where you understand you need to play the game of I need money for a house. Or, I gotta provide for my family, or at least for myself. Make sure I eat. Your parents will, one of their goals is to make sure that you uh, you can fend for yourself when you get to this world, however sinful or non-sinful it is, whatever your belief is on this system. But you have to learn how to play the game. You have to learn how to actually be competent. And oh, thank goodness we got money. Mom, daddy needs some new trinkets. But does that make sense? I hope so. Anyway, it reduced my anxiety to the point where I just don't need significance. The, usually there was a book written by... Uh, so, dude, my knowledge is, is so bad when it comes to this. Wait, a book that was written about um, by a guy in the military. It was recommended to me. I didn't read it, but I did hear about it. He told me about it. And the book was um, like how your first half of your life is all about success. And the last half of your life is all about significance. And I don't know if this is the last half of my life, but about five, five, seven years ago. Now, you know what? It's right before my daughter was born. It's about nine years. I, I started looking towards significance. So if you're, I mean, if you're looking why I'm, I'm doing these videos, why I do anything else in my life, this is just me personally. It's more for significance because none of the stuff you can take with you. Money is, is so finite. Taking advantage of your neighbor or exploiting them if you want to look at the negative side of capitalism or trying to play the game and win and make things better and therefore people buy your product instead. That only goes so far. You got to look for significance. If you're not looking for significance, um, you're not going to look for a greater picture. If you just look for a success, everything ends with you. It's all about me and stuff I can do. Anyway, we got over this one. There you go. There's your philosophy of the day. Once again, thanks for watching. You guys enjoyed it. Oh my gosh, we've been surrounded by the blue. Click like button, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. I'll see you next time. Take care.